body taff come in with another taff's word now and actually one in my own room for once i mean uh this little newport county slash carl's ice in a background it haven't been seen for a while of it but uh there we go i've actually managed to have the time on a sunday evening to actually do a taff's word happy days so that's the happy days as far as newport county is concerned it's not happy days really at the moment is it I mean, uh, I know we got a good draw against Luton, although I felt we could have gone on and won that game if we'd have uh, pushed that a little bit more. Um, we got the win at Yeovil, which was great, but that's been the only highlight of, of an otherwise poor run of form. Um, and the thing is, you got to look, I mean, for me, the effort wasn't there yesterday. I don't think the effort and determination was quite there. I think the uh, the creativity wasn't there. We, we didn't have any ideas. We didn't have no expression of a real sort of footballing game kind of knowledge, if, if if you know what I mean by that. We just didn't seem to know how to break that crew team down properly until we put the big men at front and actually started lumping the ball into the box. And sometimes I feel we can try and win a little bit too pretty. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're trying too hard to play good football without realising, well, hold on, we're in League 2, the way to win games is to, is to put the team under pressure in their own box. When I say I've seen a lot of teams beat us by putting us under pressure in our own box, we played the better football, but we were just naive when it came to actually executing the final balls or when it came to actually taking our chance. The thing is, right, you'll find with us is that we'll do ever so well to get ourselves into the position to actually, you know, say we're one pass away from creating a great chance, we'll cock that pass up. If we don't cock that pass up, whether somebody will misread the run, uh, you know, the flight of the ball, or whether the pass or the ball has put a good ball in, but the player's gone that way instead of that way, you don't, don't know. Um, it seems a little bit disjointed. Um, I don't know whether that has actually got something to do with the fact that the uh, the HQ isn't habitable at the moment because of the fire. But um, honestly, I, I really can't for the life of me understand where that team spirit from the from the first half of the season has gone that that team spirit that got us into the FA Cup fourth round and um, a, a, a two game tie against Tottenham Hotspur I mean ever since Tottenham it has been a barrel of wank to be honest with you I mean a, a, apologies for the swear word but that's pretty much what it's been but then and there was a lot of people going on saying oh yeah but consider where we were last season yeah I get that 100%. And what we wanted was exactly what we got at the moment. Mid-table mediocrity with a cup run. And we got exactly what we wanted. But we got spoiled into believing we were going to do something a hell of a lot better than what we were expecting. So to see us slump after doing so well is disappointing and demoralising. I mean, every time we do a game... Uh, an offer on a game we always end up we always end up losing or the game is just so dire that any new supporters that have come through the gate or any irregular supporters that come through the gate just don't want to bother coming anymore I mean it's just typical I mean but then thinking about it though look at the games that the crowds have been spoiled with. The big crowds have seen the Notts County game from last season. The big crowds have seen us beat Leeds. The big crowds saw us draw against Tottenham. And the big crowds saw us win against Crawley. And we were really good that night. And it was a really entertaining game, that one. So, what are we going to do to get people to keep coming through the door? Um, I think with Newport County and the people of Newport, I mean... People appreciate good football in Newport, which is why a lot of people like to watch your Liverpools and your Man Uniteds and all that. But I think there's two things we got to do. Oh, no, no, three things. Let's just say three things. First of all is incentive. Give them a reason to come down. Whether people who live from the side of the city get free bus travel or something, or they can subsidise their bus travel in, in, in the purchase of their ticket, I don't know. But... An incentive. If we can offer every single person that one bit of incentive, then uh, we'll see more people coming down. Um, the next thing I was thinking of was something other than the football, so making the day a spectacle. 
uh, whether you're putting whether you're putting something on whether it's like a, a mini fun day every single time you know you're getting people down so people come down because they're enjoying the occasion just as much as they they would enjoy the football something to think about but i think the main one is to actually get people to have a bit of pride in in the city and a bit of pride in the local team i mean if the fa cup run didn't do it I mean, surely we could be collaborating with our council a little bit more, you know, to just to completely Newport County, the entire city. I mean, it, I mean, it's something that we've got to really consider and, and push on with because Lincoln have somehow managed to do it. They, they, they've increased their support. I mean, Lincoln's support was twice as bad as ours when we were in the conference with them. And now all of a sudden, they come back to League Two and their support rivals any of the top teams in the division. So what do they do to keep their fans... I think we really need to start digging into their secrets and real, really understand what they're doing differently to everybody else because it's quite phenomenal what they're doing and, I, and I'm I'm in awe of it, to be honest. But then there's things like Portsmouth. I mean, I know Portsmouth had their Premier League, you know, their Premier League cameo, but they fell down the league too and still kept their supporters. So what makes them turn up every week, no matter who they're playing against? You know, it's the pride in in, in the local team. I mean, we got to put Newport County 8 there a, a damn sight more than what we're doing. I mean, not a lot of people read the Argus, believe it or not. You know, I don't know that many people who actually go out their way to buy the Argus. I've enough people do for the Argus to keep running, and that's great that, that, that we have got a good local paper like that. But, you know, Newport County in the Argus all the time, that's not quite going to cut it. Newport County putting them on, you know, putting adverts on the buses. Not everybody rides the bus. I mean... There's got to be something else that we can do, whether we can work with the council and the post office and get leaflets through the doors, whether we can do it so everywhere you go, Newport County is in your face. I know we got that one sign um, on the SDR, which is great. Maybe one or two more of them in different parts of the city. You know, um, I don't know. What ideas have you got, guys? Well, what can we do to get more fans turning up? I mean, at the end of the day, the more supporters we get, the more money we get, the more we can spend on our first team, the more we can invest for the future, for things like our own stadium, training, grain, etc. I mean, we don't have many fixed assets at the club. Well, uh, if any, we don't have any, really. So I think the only real big asset that we got, potentially, is Josh Sheehan next year could end up making us a hell of a lot of money. I think we've cashed in on, on, on all our prospects now. Obviously, Washington, we've cashed in on him, except except I know if he goes for big money to a Premier League club one day, I know whatever Peter would get off the back of their sale to QPR, we're still entitled to a slice of that. So if that's a big enough transfer one day, then um, there's no reason why we can't bring in a little bit more money on the back of that. Oh, sorry, guys. The only other thing is sell-on clauses for Regan Poole and um, Aaron Collins. Do they exist? We've cashed in on our, our, our clause for Lee Evans. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't think there's anyone else left out there for us to make any money on, to be honest. So we've got to start doing something differently. I mean, do we need a benefactor at the club? I don't believe we do. What we need is to start pushing the club's profile within our own city and the surrounding area. And like I said, those three things are going to be key to bringing people back. Um, the exposure that, that we're giving off. I mean, this YouTube channel, I mean, if you watch these videos on a regular basis, get more people involved, watch more of those videos, share them around on your Facebook, Twitter, because this is the kind of thing that gets us exposure as well. Not just me talking to you guys, but then the videos that we have got on your, of, of the atmosphere. You know, give people in Newport the opportunity to see what they're missing as well. Because when, when we catch the county on a good day and our atmosphere, we've got atmosphere second to none, you know. Anyway, there's me harping on. Um, next game, home to Coventry. We play like we did against uh, Crew, and we will get slaughtered. But we managed to get the win at Coventry. Unfortunately, Reese Cole is in the rain to haunt them again. But yeah, there you go. Um, we got Josh Sheehan now, so he may uh, give them a run for their money. But they have got some really capable, good players at Coventry so we're not going to find that game easy at all and Chesterfield on Monday coming up I mean ooh, that's a tricky one that one is if ever I've known one uh, they've just beat Notts County today and 
you know, they're in decent form at the moment and they're looking to save themselves. They're fighting for their lives at the moment. So going to Chesterfield could be a difficult game for us. So I'd say if we get four points from these next two games, it would be an absolute bloody miracle. Although I think the playoffs are gone. I want us to finish strong, be in a position where, hold on a minute, this is a team to be considered for a contender next year. Because I tell you what, we make the right signings and add to the team that we've already got. I mean, obviously, we've got Labardi out for the first few months, of course, but when he comes back, hopefully he'll be better than ever. And uh, I think the midfield is exactly where we need to strengthen that team. I think that's where we're lacking at the moment, is in the midfield. The midfield aren't feeding our, our strikers and our wingers well enough. And I think our midfield isn't preventing attacks well enough either. So I think a, a complete reshuffle of the midfield. I think the defence is fine for, for for me. I think a backup goalie to push Joe Day a little bit more. And then even reinforce the wings and, and get another striker. I think we only need four or five players. You know, retain the majority of what we got. I think four or five players, maybe six. You know, I think we need three, two or three good new centre midfielders. And then, like I say, a winger, a forward, and a backup goalkeeper. There we go. That's what we need for next season. If we keep everyone who we got now, or maybe let one or two of them go. Well, we need to let a few of them go if we're gonna. If we're if we're bringing in five or six, we need to get rid of five or six. So uh, anyway, that's nearly twelve minutes of your lives. You're never getting back. Here's what's on sale at the moment on our eBay page. Sticker packs already packaged in this little box here. Courtesy of uh, my fiance Leanne. You've also got our scarves as well. I haven't got one here at the moment to showcase. Although with one hand it'd be a bit difficult to hold a scarf up. But check out our eBay page guys. Um, if you look on our main page on here now. We've got links to all of our social media and eBay on our main page. So have a look at that. So thanks again for watching everybody. Let's hope Newport County can finish a little bit stronger than we think they're going to right now. Uh, Easter weekend coming up that will define us I think for the rest of our season personally I think the season's over but if there is any slight little glimmer of playoffs we need maximum points over this weekend coming up so let's wait and see thanks for watching again guys and until the next time cheerio for now and as always up the county